Oh yes, Wednesday. Oh, what kind of Pokeballs do I use? You're about to find out. Uh, the answer is regular. Sorry, I'm a disappointment. I don't even know what to use. I guess Brick Break because it's neutral and it actually is stabbed, so that's fine. Okay, um, same thing for you. You get the same damn treatment. I win. Yeah, I met a bird trainer once. He was a gym leader and he was a little bitch. A TM66 payback. That's actually pretty solid. That, ooh, you know who would work well with that? Is Mr. Um, Mr. Bebop, our Pineco. Oh man. So uh, okay. So a couple of you guys said uh, I could probably find some. Um, uh, what's it called? I can find a uh, Yanma on Route 35, which would definitely be good. That would be a good uh, a good sort of second uh, special attacker since bug bug types tend to skew towards physical attacking. Um, that would be useful, definitely. Now, I need to see... Okay, I'm actually on Route 35. I would imagine Yanma's a pretty low catch rate, because I haven't seen one yet. Um, and yeah, apparently Kuanger doesn't learn naturally any, uh, any sort of bug-type attacks until it gets Megahorn at, like, 55, so... Man, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I, I think he can learn X-Scissor. I think he might be able to learn X-Scissor via... Um, TM. Do I have that? I did- no, I got U-turn from Bugsy, that's right. I have no idea when I get x Scissor, but it's probably not until later in the game. That's kind of disappointing that I'm not gonna have a good Bug-type stab. <clears throat> I also need to figure out when exactly I get, um... Bug Buzz? Yeah, Bug Buzz. I don't know, generally speaking, most Bug-type attacks are, like, really weak. It's just, for some reason, they decided, like, hey, Bug-types are just gonna suck. And, uh... It's not until, it wasn't until later that they actually started adding some really solid bug type attacks. And for some reason they also decided they also had to be pretty high level. There are some bug types that learn some good bug attacks at lower level, at like more moderate levels. But, you know, it's definitely not as much as like, you know, fire types with learning flamethrower. You know, a lot of them learn it around, I don't know, around level 35 or so. Yeah, bug types don't get the same treatment. I really want to treat myself to some Voltorb flip, but we gotta get a, we gotta get a move on with this gym. I think this is gonna be just one of those uh, one of those gym episodes. This one right uh, might run a little long. Excuse me. Does this guy give you fresh water in these? No, he doesn't. I guess was that Generation Five they started doing that. I don't remember. But here we're basically just gonna have a bunch of like Lefairies to karate chop the shit out of Sentry. Wow, am I really that? much higher level or is this does this does she just have really low level pokemon okay level 16 that's that's a bit more even though i still one shot it with a non super effective attack that's still a lot more reasonable <laughs> okay i was about to say am i really that over leveled i didn't think i was that over leveled um speaking of we should probably be getting uh somebody let's start leveling up bebop a bit we'll put him out front switch into Kwanger each each round because that's going to be some free XP that we definitely need. No, not big city. Gwanger's already our highest level. Which is uh, not a bad thing. Definitely not. But it is kind of surprising. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't make this gym fight too easy. But I feel like this, I feel like when it comes to Whitney, Whitney's either going to be a fucking nightmare or really easy. She, there's not going to be any in between. Because the only way... Uh, like The thing that's dangerous about her mill tank is the fact that it like sets up on you, basically. If it sets up... Um, you know, a couple of, uh, like, what does it set up? Like, Heal Bell to keep off stat. I think it has Heal Bell. And then, oh, Defense Curl, which increases the power of Rollout, I believe. Um, if, if it gets up a Defense Curl, and then it's, like, not taking as much damage, and then it starts Milk Drinking to keep its health up, and just deals increasing damage each turn with Rollout. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, so the only way to really avoid that is to nip it in the bud and kill it as quickly as possible so that's what that's why I'm saying it's either gonna be really hard or really easy um, and I don't know which it's gonna be uh, I, I guess I'm gonna stick with my my classic uh, picks offensive where I just send picks out in, in the front get her to try to put something to sleep and then uh, schnabel <laughs> get her to put something to sleep or maybe paralyze it or poison it or whatever and then uh, go on the offensive with something else. It was Peter before, and now it's, now it's gonna be Kwanger. So Kwanger, of course, got the stupid-ass paralysis, and he's low on PP, so let's go ahead. Uh, this, this, uh, mill tank fight can take a while, so 
Now I'm trying to remember how much PP Milk Drink has. I want to say it's only 5, but it might actually be 10. I also can't remember what its full set is. I think it's Defense Curl, Rollout, uh, Milk Drink, and Heal Bell, but it might also have like a, a uh, normal type move of some kind. I, I don't know. Um, we're gonna have to see. I also believe she has, um, I don't remember what else she has, but I, I don't think Miltank is her only Pokemon. I think it all, I think she also has like a, a fucking Clefairy probably, I don't know. Who knows? I think she's, I think she's actually only a two Pokemon leader though. I don't think she has very many Pokemon. It's just that, damn Miltank, that Miltank, but Heracross though, Heracross is actually a good option for taking out Whitney. Even if you're not doing a mono bug run, Heracross just happens to be, you know, he's going to be one of my main hitters throughout the whole game. So, we kind of lucked out there that we had a fighting type available this early. Anyway, so, uh, what should we give, what should you give Whitney Boy? Hi, I'm Whitney! You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? No. I'm warning you, I'm good. So you just wanted to be popular. You're shallow as shit. I got into Pokemon with peer pressure. I was totally right about the two Pokemon thing. I was totally right about the Clefairy thing. I was totally right about Miltank is gonna fucking destroy me. Um, okay, picks. Let's see what you got. Okay, so at least it's not super high level, but it might actually outspeed picks. Okay, this might actually one-shot picks. Okay, not quite. Good thing Rollout has a pretty low base power. Oh, it's got a fairy. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay. So now it already has two two turns of Rollout up. Uh, just Brick Break, see what happens. Heracross outspeeds at least. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And luckily, Kwanger, being part Fighting type, is going to uh, he's uh, 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 he's going to um, not die. He he is not super effective. He is neutral damage to rock type attacks. I think this might be it. Are we really already done this? Yeah, wow, she didn't even try to potion. Like I said, it was either going to be really hard or really easy. And in this case, one of the biggest challenges early game for Heart Gold Soul Silver. Whitney is out of the way just because we lucked out on our typing choice. But anyway, wow, wow, snivel, snivel, hick, you meanie. Go fuck yourself, Whitney. You're the actual worst. What? Oh no, you made Whitney cry. Yeah, it's all my fault. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Yeah, I don't feel bad about destroying her anymore. Uh, okay, so I gotta talk to her again soon. Oh. What, what do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's a plain badge. Fucking douchebag. Hurt my cow. The plain badge lets your Pokemon you strike. Blah, blah, blah. I can have this too. I think it's return. Oh, it's attract, yeah. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually not Defense Curl it has. I think it has Attract. I think that's the other thing. That sexy, stupid cow. Okay, so, like I said, it was either going to be really hard or really easy. There wasn't going to be any in-between there. Um, so, I'm glad that uh, that Heracross was on our side. Now we can finally start getting some other Pokemon. Some, But you can definitely see that power that it had when it, it used Rollout, which I, I'm pretty sure is a base, like, 20 power move. Uh, before it starts getting cumulative turn power build up and it it fucking took away like I don't know 60% of Pix's health to be fair Pix um, doesn't have a lot of health to begin with and is also quad weak to rock but that thing can be super threatening basically I would say if if you're just playing a normal game and you're having trouble with Whitney's mill tank just do what I did and get yourself a Heracross. It can take a little while. I lucked out getting getting a Kawanger as quickly as I did. How are you even keeping up with me? Bebop? I'm, I'm just flabbergasted right now. Um, oh yeah, we gotta get us a pail. Hello, hello! Yeah, 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 give me the squirt. Just give me the bottle. Give me the squirt bottle. I'll make you squirt. What was I saying? Uh, b -b -b yeah, just get a Heracross, all that shit up. You know, it might take a little while to get it in the first place, but it's worth it. Because that was really easy. So here I think we get a bike. I think this guy just, just hands you one in this game. Uh, I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? You know why it is? It's because, oh yeah, I'll give you my phone number, whatever. In exchange for a free bike? Are you kidding me? Um... You know why you're why you can't sell any bicycles? It's because you're located in like this remote corner of a huge city. 
It's all about location, man. Alright, let's go ahead and register the bicycle. And you guys can't see it because of my, the way my screens are laid out, but... We got that bicycle up in the uh, upper right-hand corner. It's invisible. Just trust me when I say that there's a bike there. <laughs> You're not missing a whole lot. It's a bike! Anyway. Uh, that should actually just neatly bring us to the end. This was episode whatever. Fucking, what was this? 16? 17? I think it was 16. I just, I skipped the whole intro thing. I'll see you guys on Friday for the next episode when I think I'm gonna play me some Voltorb Flip. Oh yeah!